Hey YouTube, this is Jared with 2142 with another Star Wars at Clone Wars action figure review. Today I'll be reviewing the um, Commando Droid from Episode 5 Rookies. Um, it is probably my favorite type of battle droid or droid um, in the Separatist Army. It's really kick ass um, and they can, it, it's really agile and it can beat the crap out of a clone trooper any day. Um, yeah, so I'll just give you a look at the box. It's a new um, box from um, all the Star Wars um, lines of action figures that they're releasing now. Um, this says Star Wars Clone, the Clone Wars. It has a nice picture of the Commando Droid right there. Um, and it says Commando Droid Blaster attaches the back, which it does. It's really cool. Um, the Clone Wars at the back. Let me just move my camera forward. At the back, it has a picture of. The commander droid with a separate symbol on the back. It has um, a picture from the episode with uh, commander droid at the in the moon base command center. Um, and at the background, you can see the um, the commander droid commander putting on a helmet to um, to fool Cody and Rex, which it sort of does a little bit. I don't know. Um, it says commander droid. I'll just read it to you. Commander droids land on the Rishi moon. To attack a Republic outpost designed for surprise assault, the droids quickly overwhelm the new clone trooper recruit stationed there. With the strategic, with this, <laughs> with this strategic outpost now in Separatist hands, General Grievous has everything in position to launch a surprise attack anywhere in the outer rim, which he was planning to attack Camino, where the clones are being created. Yeah, and there's the other figures in the line. Really cool. I have Echo. I did a review on him. If you want to see, um, you can watch that review after this, I guess. Uh, yeah, now on to the figure itself. Sorry, I'm camera a lot. It's not my video camera, so, yeah. Um, alright, so, here's the Commando Droid. It's a really cool figure. I really like it. Um, it only comes, sadly, with one accessory, uh, Droid Blaster that can attach to his back, which does suffice. Because it can attach his back and it's pretty cool, like in the episode. Um, I wish they made a uh, commander, the commander, commander droid commander, but they're making a battle pack soon. Um, I think it's coming out next year or uh, later on this year at the end. Um, but what it comes with, I think three commando droids and one commander droid commander. I don't know, two, yeah, I think three commander droids. So, um, and one clone trooper. And that's pretty cool because the Commander Droid Commander comes with a sword. One of those electric sword things that he um, stabbed the clone trooper with when he was on um, patrol duty outside. On sentry duty. Yeah. So, um, it comes with this blaster which can fit onto his back. I'll just put it on for articulation. Um, okay, so his articulation is pretty cool. He has a ball jointed head. It can turn 360 degrees. Um, he has some articulated neck which can move back and forth like a goose um uh yeah and he also has ball jointed um shoulders that can spin all the way around move up and down um it also they has um called ball jointed no ball i call it swivel actually swivel um wrists and ball jointed elbows but they can't turn, the thing about it is they can't turn all around like a clone trooper's one. It's just stationary, but only this part turns here. Only the finger and the arms turn. But and there's no wrist articulation, no wrist. You can move back and forth, cannot. Um, it's a good thing they didn't do that because it could break. Uh, he also has um, a uh, swivel chest, which is really weird, but it's pretty cool. Um, he has ball hinge legs. That can spin all around. Whoops. And then it falls off sometimes. But they can pop back in. And I think that's what it's made for. So if you blast the droid, it seems to fall off, I guess. Um, it has ball hinged knees. That can move up that way and down that way. Um, he has ball hinged ankles that can turn to 60. Only on the foot part, not on the actual ankle itself. And um, that's about it for articulation. It has, overall, has really good detail, if you can kind of see it. Um, the eye sockets are painted right in well. Really nice detail on the paint. This paint is like a metallic-y paint. 
um, a, gl a glossy kind of, like, oil. If you look at oil, like, from a car or something, you know how it's, like, all the colors are mingled in and stuff? It's kind of like that. Um, you can kind of see it. But that kind of, it's kind of weird, because once it gets on the head, it kind of gives, like, these weird-looking markings. But it doesn't really, it's not anything like a scratch or anything. It's just in the paint, which is all right, but I wouldn't like it. I'd rather have a flat color, flat, shiny color. Yeah, so that's about it. Um, for this review, um, yeah, I'd give this figure probably a 9 out of 10, because it's pretty cool, and it's a plus that the blaster can actually attach to his back, I kind of like that, and, um, yeah, this is my review for the Commando Droid, thanks for watching, please rate, comment, and please subscribe, um, and keep collecting, and may the force be with you.